If you have just got a pair of Celestron Skymaster binoculars, then chances are they will be out of focus and you'll also need to collimate them before you can use them. So today I would just like to walk you through the entire process to ensure that you get the views that you're expecting and hoping for when you got your pair of binoculars. So first and foremost, I just wanna to quickly touch upon why you'd want to do it. Well, of course, collimating and focusing your binoculars will ensure that you get much better image quality. Uh, and it will also ensure you don't suffer from that double image which is so important to seeing things obviously crisp and clear and it will also help because it will stop any kind of eye strain or headaches or just poor viewing sessions in general. So that's why you're gonna to want to do this. So now I'm just gonna walk you through the actual step-by-step -step process in terms of setting these up to ensure they're kind of optimized for you um, and, and, and what, yeah, so you can start using them essentially. So firstly, you'll need to adjust the IPD which is also known as the interpupillary distance, sorry, uh, lost track of that there, the IPD. And essentially, all that to, 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 do, to do that, all you need to do is basically move the binoculars on the hinge. So as you imagine with most binoculars, so if I just do this here, I'm just going to show you, you basically just do this. So you, you, you put your eyes up, up to the, the eyepieces and you just move the, hopefully you can see that, the binoculars here to ensure they kind of align with your eyes um, and that will ensure that yeah you, you've got the IPD in position so that's the first thing you need to do secondly you then need to adjust the focus so to do that you basically have to play around with the uh, well the focus the, the main central focus bar so in order to, to, to adjust it you need to put these up to your binoculars up to your eyes and firstly you want to close your right eye and you want to look through the left side of the binoculars with your left eye at something you're looking at so a subject matter you then need to rotate the center focusing wheel until the image appears in sharp focus once that's done you need to then close your left eye and look through the right eye piece then you need to rotate the, ro the right eyepiece until the image appears in sharp focus. At that point, you will look through both eyepieces with both of your eyes open. And since you've already adjusted the right eyepiece, you will then be able to only use the center focusing wheel to refocus on a new object at a different distance. So that will ensure your focusing is kind of optimized. Now the third part, which is maybe why you're here, is, is about collimation. So this is where it gets a little bit trickier and I must admit I wasn't really expecting this when I first got my binoculars but it is something that can be done and you're going to need a small screwdriver. So I've got one here um, and yeah I've tried with a bigger screwdriver and it wasn't very effective and I did notice that it started to mark my binoculars. So I'd recommend getting a small one. You should have one around your, your, your home. If you don't I'll drop a link in to a description. I'll drop a link in the description to the kind of screwdriver you're going to need off Amazon. It's very, very cheap. Um, that is an affiliate link. So if you do purchase through that link, I will get a small commission at no extra uh, cost to you. But yeah, the, the screwdriver will essentially enable you to do a couple of things. And this is what you need to do, basically. The first thing is, well, you need to adjust a couple of different screws, essentially, but they're kind of hidden from plain view. So if you, the first one you need to adjust is located on just over, or under, I should say, the grip on the right hand side. So you basically need to use your small screwdriver, and I'm going to try and do this without damaging my uh, binoculars, is you need to get underneath here, and you need to lift that up, and you should find... So when you get underneath, it will look like this, sorry. And you can kind of go across as well. You can kind of go across like that. You are looking for a, a small little screw underneath and you basically just need to adjust that screw. Once you've done that, um, you then need to uh, do the second one, which is positioned here. And I'd recommend doing these one at a time. And, and you know, this is obviously for your right eye. Uh, this one is for your, your, your left eye. Um, but you need to go under here 
and you'll also find another screw. So I'm going to try and do this without damaging. Uh, let me just try and do it so that you can actually see underneath. There it is. You can hopefully see that now. If you can't, it's just a small little screw that you need to adjust. And you basically make that adjustment. And then when you look through your eyepieces, you should find that your binoculars have been collimated and you'll be able to see everything optimally because you've gone through the IPD, you've also changed the focus and then you've done that collimation. So that is how to set up essentially your Celestron Skymaster binoculars and ensure that you get the views that you were expecting and hoping for when you bought them. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this and do consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to be releasing lots of different uh, content, not just on astronomy equipment, but astronomy in general. And I've got plenty over there already for you to go and check out. So with all that said, I hope you have an excellent day.